Hey, what's up, you sexy mofos? Big Fred here from Storm Tactical Consulting. Coming at you from War Dog Surplus in Southern Pines, North Carolina, my favorite shop to do these gear review videos in, as you all know. Today we're doing a gear review for spotterup.com on the Prism jeans, the PR01s. They're very versatile jean, very athletic. You can do a lot of cool stuff, a lot of low-vis, concealment, clandestine setups, and I'm gonna talk about all that. Uh, the jeans retail at $148. They have two uh, slash pockets, which are these guys right here on the side, these diagonal shaped pockets. These are really good for a cell phone because a lot of times, and I do it myself, you slide that cell phone in your back pocket and you sit down, you end up either bending it or cracking it, and I've done that. Or if you put it in the front pocket, it, uh, it bunches up on you when you sit down and it kind of prevents that range of motion. So these slash pockets are really badass for that. They sit it right on your hip, so it's out of the way. They also have two thigh pockets, just like a standard uh, jean, right, or butt pockets. You got these two pockets on the left, on the front, and on the right you have three, and they're layered. They're stacked one above the other. I was able to carry a lot of stuff. You'll see in these pictures that I have on this review. So. Um, you know, you can fit just about everything. I fit a full-size assault radio on there when we did a low-vis equipment video shoot. So now I'm gonna talk about my likes of these jeans. These jeans rock, I love them. Like I wore them literally two days in a row. Uh, I probably shouldn't tell that to everybody, but you know, it is what it is. They're really cool jeans, they're super comfortable. The fit is true to my size, right? I, I gave the guys over at Prism my size and then 3434. They sent 3434 and they fit like a glove. They're not super tight or snug where like everything's showing. Um, they're, they're a great fitting jean. They're a little bit loose, just the way I like them. They're very stretchy, that, right? That Japanese stretch denim. So athleticism with jeans is difficult to do normally with normal denim. These things, you can wear them to the range. You can run and gun your drills with them on. I did it. You could do, you could do a, a physical fitness test in these jeans. They're that stretchy and you have that much freedom of maneuver and range of motion in these jeans. They're, they're pretty awesome. And if you're doing like a low-vis type situation, there's times where you might need a little bit of freedom of maneuver and movement uh, and have the uh, ability to, you know, jump and climb and do whatever you need to do, get in weird shooting positions and whatnot behind vehicles or buildings. The uh, ability to conceal equipment. I was literally able to conceal almost an entire low visibility loadout in these jeans without any type of vest the only vest I did have in the pictures I uh, previously posted was some concealable armor underneath the flannel shirt. I had no additional equipment attached to that. 
I had a full size PRC 148 radio, um, and you'll see them in the pictures in one of those stash pockets. The only thing kind of sticking out was the antenna, which I had tight to my body so I was able to conceal it. Um, and I had the, uh, the earpiece running up through my shirt and in my ear, which was skin tone colored. So clandestine setup, man, th this is where it's at. Everything, blades, concealable pistol, spare magazines, a small first aid or IFAC blowout kit, you know, a tourniquet, uh, if you want to keep a tourniquet on you in your kit, if you don't carry a kit, just a tourniquet, whatever. This is, these are the genes to do it. The one issue I did have, and it's, it's, it's really a lack of the time spent with these, is I would say rehearse with these genes. If you're going to fill them out, if you're going to max them out, because you've got these two pockets on the left, on the front, and on the right you have three, and they're layered. They're stacked one above the other. So if you have everything, or if you have an item in all these pockets, and you need to go in there quickly and pull out, say, a blade, because you're under duress or whatever, uh, you might grab the wrong thing. And I did that the other night when I was messing around with these jeans. So rehearsal's important when you have so many pockets to know where everything's at and what's where, especially, like I said, in panic mode or under duress. Uh, you don't want to reach in for a blade to protect yourself and grab your truck keys, right? Unless you've got like one of those sweet keychains and you can you know, do some damage with that or just with your keys. Rehearse with the jeans if you're gonna load them out. That, that's my only issue or concern. All right, so now we're gonna talk about placement of the equipment. When I, I took, uh, used the jeans the other night and kind of did some practice scenarios, a low visibility or reduced signature scenario. Um, some of the stuff's already pre-positioned in the genes, so I'm just going to talk about it. Um, other things that are not in the genes, I'm also going to discuss, and I'll put them in there as we go. But basically, what I had was these PR01 genes. I keep a pair of assault gloves in the back pocket, right? I also had my wallet in the other back pocket, which is now in my current back pocket and the pants I'm wearing. In the slash pocket on the right side, I was able to fit an entire PRC-148 with a, a uh, slightly smaller antenna, which is able to be concealable with the body. And if you're wearing like a, like a flannel shirt or some type of jacket that you can wear around that, even, even without it, it, it stays tight to your body. So it's a little hard to pick up unless you're really close. I have my spare magazine for my carry pistol, which I'm wearing currently in, in the, uh, one of the front thigh pockets. Just above that, I talked about that layering system is my sock pee dagger. On my back left hip at the eight o'clock position, I carried another spare magazine on an inside the waist belt carrier uh, on my belt. I don't have the belt on the jeans right now because I'm wearing a belt. I also had a Surefire Vampire flashlight, both LED and IR light. It's always good to have a, a spare light on you. Maybe two, like a small Surefire LED light for emergencies. Another blade I had in my um, inside the waist belt in my appendix carry area was a kernel blade. And I'm kind of a, a blade nerd, so I carry a lot of blades. I said one to two, but it's more like two or three. Of course, I have my favorite uh, Tonto by Columbia River, right? This guy, I always have that with me. Sometimes you might need some surveillance equipment, some observation equipment. So a maybe a small handheld monocular uh, like this Vortex. Uh, that's a little bit bulkier, but with other layering and you know jackets and whatnot, you're able to hide that stuff pretty easily. But basically I was able to fit all that stuff with the uh, accessories. So the mic had my push to talk switch, the cable that went up in my shirt to my earpiece mic. All right, yeah, my bone mic and the earpiece. And my, my pistol that I conceal.
All right, guys, I'm doing the wrap up of this gear video, the review of the PRS-01 jeans by Prism. Super great set of jeans, made for very athletic movement. You can do your running, gunning, jumping, climbing. They're well built with Japanese stretch denim. The stitching is, is bar none, some of the best I've seen. I'm gonna go out and get me probably a couple more pairs of these. Uh, you can wear the crap out of them and not have to wash them for you know a couple of uses. That's what the manufacturer recommended to me. So you do do it at your discretion, but uh, I'm definitely gonna get some and I highly recommend them. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below. And please subscribe to my channel and give me a like if you don't mind. I appreciate you. Thank you for following Storm Tactical Consulting, and you guys have a good one. Later, sexy mofos.